Hi guys on YouTube, it's Supercanata here. Um, today I thought I'll try something new. Um, I haven't done a video for a while, as you might have guessed. Um, but I thought I could make this into like a little series. If you enjoy it, please tell me. It's basically my gaming stories and stuff that's happened with me in the past and just little stories I've never told, well, anyone outside my family really. I'd never tell them really my friends. Um, and it's just something I thought might be funny if people like it. So please tell me in the comments below if you like it and I'll make more of them. So to start this one off, I thought I'd do a little interesting one for, well, on my part. It's about the Gizmondo. Uh, if you don't know what the Gizmondo is, the Gizmondo is a failed handheld back in 2005. Um, basically it was trying to rival the Nintendo DS and the Nokia N-Gage at the time and it was really trying to boast of how much powerful it was and how it was keen to be this big thing for adult gamers and stuff like that uh, it had its own GPS, it could connect to the internet and it could also uh, take pictures so you know it was supposed to be great but unfortunately it did shit and it never got anywhere besides a few games uh, it had more games over here in the UK, basically. Um, in America, the it didn't really kick off much. It didn't really kick off here, really. But the game library over there was less than what it was over here. So that kind of gives you a example of how it did. I think it only had, like, 20 games, 15 games at best. And I think in America, it was about 11 games, if I'm correct. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But anyway, to the story. Okay, let's see. Back in 2005, when I was fi uh, 13, yeah, I was 13 at the time, uh, when I was 13, um, my mum took me to Comet, which was a electronic retailer in the UK, now it's nothing anymore, it doesn't exist now, and my sister used to work there. And basically, I was all hyped for the Nintendo DS, I was so excited to get it. So they used to have a demo there. And I used to play it all the time. They used to have WarioWare Touch there for you to play. So I would always go over there and play it. And one day, when I was getting ready to get the DS, my mum goes, Joe, there's a um, new console coming out your sister told me about called the Gizmondo. And I was like, what the fuck's a Gizmondo? In my head, I was like, what? What the hell is a Gizmondo? And then she showed me it in like the section of the store. And I was just like, oh, okay, that looks interesting. It's looks like it's a Game Boy Advance but more high tech and then she was like oh all the kids uh, all the kids and adults are getting this one um you know it's basically the adult console that everyone wants and the Nintendo DS probably won't do as good and I was and she was, was like what would you like would you like the Nintendo DS or the Gizmondo and I just went DS I don't know what a Gizmondo is and frankly the DS had Super Mario 64 DS and that just won me there I was just like you know what we're getting a friggin' DS. I am not going for a Gizmondo. And I know in my mind it wasn't going to be good. And I know no one, back in my secondary school, I didn't know a single person that owned a Gizmondo. And I only knew one person who ever owned it, and that guy was in co And that was when I was in college. He brought one over, and I was just like, What? You have a Gizmondo? By the grace. Um, so yeah, my mum was like, really trying to make this it's like she was trying to pitch it to me it was like you know she told me that this console was going to be the best thing ever and i was like i know my consoles and i know that the ds is going to do better than the gizmondo and hey ho look what happened it's the second best selling system in the world um and yeah and where's the gizmondo nowhere we don't have the gizmondos anymore we don't even really think about it we only use it as like a reference in gaming history of how bad a handheld can be and how a new startup company can fuck it up. So yeah, that's my story of the Gizmondo. Um, again, I've got plenty of stories about my gaming past and also if you are interested in it, uh, again, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And also leave a comment about like your stories and you know, I might even reference them in a later story, uh, in one of my later stories if this does become good. Anyway guys, this is Super Kanata here, so have a nice day and happy gaming guys, take care.